Hey guys, this is Micah with Innovative UAS. Uh, we're going to take a look at the, the intelligent flight modes on the 3DR Solo. We're going to take a look at the, the follow me mode, the orbit mode, the selfie mode, as well as cable cam, and just some basic takeoff procedures as well. Alright, so now we're going to power on the Solo controller. So hold down to power on. And we're going to go ahead and open up the 3DR Solo app as well. And now we'll power on the GoPro and the Solo itself. Now we're just going to wait for the, the Solo and the remote control to pair. So they have paired now, it's just going to search for GPS satellites. Sometimes this takes a minute to 30 seconds just to find all the satellites. And we'll go ahead and turn on our Wi-Fi on our tablet as well so we can connect to the Solo app. Now we've connected to the Solo app with our vehicle, so we're going to go ahead and tap the Fly Solo icon, and now we should see a live view from the GoPro itself. And we're still searching for those GPS satellites. Alright, so now we're ready for takeoff. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit the fly button and it'll start up the motors. So now that the motors have engaged, go ahead and throttle up with our left hand stick and we'll take off. So now we're going to hover in the middle of the, the soccer field here and we're going to go for some, uh, some different flight modes. So on the bottom left we'll have a little director icon. So we'll click on that and we have a few different flight modes to choose from. The first one we'll start out with is the selfie mode. So we'll click selfie and there's a few different options you can choose from. Bottom left hand corner, you have your distance away that you want the drone to travel the altitude and height as far as you want it to go up and then the speed anywhere from uh, tortoise to hare so slow to fast so we'll leave everything preset as it is 70 feet as far as distance 49 feet up and uh, cruising speeds right in the middle so now we'll turn the solo so that way the camera faces us and we're going to decrease our altitude a little bit We're about 10 feet off the ground now. And there's a clear path behind us since we're in a large park here. So it says point the solo so the camera is facing you. Make sure there's a clear path. So we're going to click fly out. And now it's going to go ahead and fly up backwards and point the camera down all at the same time without touching the remote. It's all automated. So now it's reached its end. So now it's going to go ahead and return back to its original point. So it's going to come back. And it's going to hover right where it started. At about 10 feet. So that's the selfie shot. So next we're going to take a look. We're going to exit that shot. And we're going to take a look at the cable cam. Now, what cable cam allows you to do is allows you to automate any shot that you that you want. So what you can do is you can position the drone, position A, so this is where we'll start. Camera's facing away from us, so we press the, the A button to set the cable cam start point. We press A, so that's our start position. 
And let's say we want to increase altitude while going to the right and panning to the right as well. So we're going to increase altitude, pan to the right, and move to the right. And now we're going to stop. So now the camera is facing essentially a 180 and as well as the drone. So we'll set that as the point B. So cable cam is created. So now you can use the right stick to fly along the cable cam. So if I press left or right, as you can see the drone, it's going to do the exact movement that I did. Just like that. So that's the manual way to do it. If we want it automated, we press play and it's going to do it itself. Just going to fly just like that. Fly that cable cam, do exactly what I did and it's all automated. That way you can focus on adjusting the camera up or down. You let the drone do the rest of the work. So that's the cable cam. Uh, we're going to go ahead and exit that shot as well. And we'll move on to our next one, which is going to be orbit. So orbit, we're going to move out to the middle of the field. And we're going to do an orbit. So we'll take the drone, move right out to the middle here. And we'll stop right about there. And we'll click orbit. So orbit, we'll zoom out. We've already preloaded our maps. Uh, so we'll zoom out and we can move our center point left and right just by doing this here on the screen. So we'll move it so it's a pretty tight circle. Uh, so that's our center point. So you can move left and right and you don't need to preload the maps. Um, it's just something that we like to do to be more precise. Uh, in order to preload the maps, all you have to do is with the solo disconnected, open up the solo app, swipe to the right hand side uh, you'll see the map and you just zoom in and out on the location you're going to be flying that day. Uh, so we'll click A to set the center point and center point saved. So now we have a couple different options. We can orbit left or right with the sticks here just by going left or going right. And what it'll do is it'll keep the camera fixed in the middle as you can see on the video here. And I'm rolling the camera down just a little bit to demonstrate that. Now we can also do it automated as well by clicking the orbit left or orbit right. So now it's going to do it all on its own. So now if there's an object and it's moving I can focus on adjusting the camera up or down. And then the upper left hand corner of the screen you can see essentially the FPV or the GoPro view. That way you're able to do both at the same time. So now we'll go ahead and pause that and we'll go ahead and exit that shot. And now we'll move on to uh, the last which is follow me. Uh, unfortunately our tablet does not have GPS because we are using the iPad that's not the cellular version. Uh, so we can't do the follow me uh, on the iPad itself. Uh, but basically what you do is you open up the, the follow me, set your parameters as far as distance and height and then it will actually follow the GPS. Uh, in your device. Uh, so those are the, the intelligent flight modes on the 3DR Solo. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, definitely leave us a comment uh, or shoot us an email at the link below.